شرقت نفسي بنور من فؤادي Many people wonder why an Islamic school. What's the necessity of an Islamic school? I can just send my children anywhere. I can, and then just have somebody come to my house on the weekends and and just teach them about Islam or send them to Sunday school and so on. My name is uh, Hail Halim, and I'll tell you a little bit about how we ended up at Huda School. Uh, it was uh, early '90s when we um, obviously had our first child. And her uh, name was Amina Halim, who uh, also graduated from uh, the uh, Alhuda School. Brothers and sisters, an Islamic school is a very valuable tool to keep our children on the right path and to develop the next generation. Brother Safi said we were looking for students to enroll, and uh, well, we said, you know, we'll bring Amina on board right away. Um, and so, when do we start? And so, uh, I think the application process was basically a piece of paper with her name on it and age. Through Islam, not only will they be successful in this world, but more importantly, they will attain success in the hereafter. Uh, so we were really excited to be a part of the, you know, the first uh, batch of uh, of parents that brought uh, their children to school uh, here at Alhuda School. We want to teach the next generation, and we want to show them that look, this is the practical nature of Islam. My name is Amina Halim, and I currently am a second year student at American University Washington College of Law in DC. And I attended Al Huda from kindergarten through eighth grade. My name is Naeem Beg. I am currently a freshman at the University of Maryland in College Park at the Robert A. School um, of Business, and I am doing a double major in marketing and finance. Um, I've been in Al Huda since I was four years old, starting with the preschool. Um, and um, I graduated from the high school and I also was in the hip school. My name is Harun Bakai and I currently serve as the principal of Al Huda School and also the principal of Dar es Salaam's full time hip school. What students get out of Al Huda School is an opportunity, first and foremost, to learn about their deen. Um, the primary thing that Al Huda has provided me is um, a context, you know, is, is um, a way to view the world in an Islamic um, setting they learn to view everything that they learn with an Islamic lens. So um, every decision I make, you know, everything I study at school is um, within the context of Islam that Al-Huda provided me. Ashallah, we are so excited to see our students giving khutbas in different places. Our students who are leading salahs in different masajid in the DC area as well as out of state. Um, in my senior year, um, I was encouraged by um, a principal, I won't mention his name, <laughs> To, uh, to give a khutbah and you know that was the first time I did that and after that I've, I've done many um, you know a lot of other people have, have asked me to do that. And we also see our students playing leadership roles all over the DC metropolitan area. My name is Arv Kabir and I study at the Robert H. Smith School of Business at the University of Maryland studying operations management and information systems. You know there's many different things that I had the ability to explore outside the classroom you know because I was in Ahada. And I can say, you know, with conviction that those are things that I would not have pursued had I not been here. Uh, we uh, felt a sense of community, a sense of belonging. So now we had um, this something, what, we, what, we, what was a void in essence. And just being in this community um, opened me up to so many different options. My name is Muhammad Nahawandi. And I have uh, two of my kids right now attending Huda School, alhamdulillah. I drive every day about 20 miles or so. Driving on 495 is not fun, but alhamdulillah, it paid off. And I'm willing to drive more than that, just to see my kids being raised as good and strong Muslim. The graduates that are now beginning to emerge from the Al-Huda environment, we can see that not only are they successful when it comes to the Islamic values, but in addition to that, they are getting scholarships in some of the top universities. And also I had uh, my son Noor, and Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him with a scholarship from Penn State. Alhamdulillah, it's so heartwarming to see our students within two years of their graduation from high school, that mashallah, now they have graduated from college. Just hoping someday Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send someone to teach my kids. And subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered my dua. A safe, secure, uh, Islamically oriented community. Where it's not you learn about Islam, but you practice Islam, you live Islam. 
And this is what's so important for us as Muslim in this country. They leave with positive habits. They leave with the habits of small things that they do on a day-to-day -day basis that are pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The small things here and there, whether that's picking up a stick off the road, I remember my second grade teacher telling me, oh, you know, it's, it's always great to pick up, you know, sticks or rocks or anything that might hurt someone. Um, I'm thankful that I was able to go to an Islamic school. So when I looked up to that teacher, I always saw small Islamic characteristics here and there, small things that she did that really resonated with me till now. You know, seeing your kids, you know, when, when they stand up next to you and, 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 and make their salah, when you see your kids open the Mus'haf, the Qur'an, and start reading the Qur'an, when your kids say when they eat and drink, they say Alhamdulillah. So even something as simple as saying Bismillah before I eat or Alhamdulillah after I sneeze, it's just the small things that I was able to catch on to and, and really hold on to even in college or um, later in life. And when these students, they leave, what do they leave with? They leave with good company. They leave with friendships that they have developed and that they maintain for years to come. The closest friends I have, um, I've made at Al Huda. You know, the closest friends I have today have been friends of mine since I was very young. Alhamdulillah, the relationships I made in HIF school um, were relationships that lasted with me. I've had classmates that I started with in second grade and they graduated with me at the University of Maryland. It's, it's like this special bond that I've had that it's unexplainable. There were opportunities to bond with other people and opportunities to learn that were not just in the classroom. Everything I undertake in my life is somehow shaped by what I learned here at Al Huda. These different experiences, they, they help mold us into who we are now. And one of the things that our students learn when they are in this environment, whether they are in Al Huda school or the Hif school, they learn the concept of Ihsan of doing the best they can in everything that they do. And so going into college, it wasn't that I just wanted to um, be another student. I wanted to aim to be the best student possible. When they're in the school, they're encouraged to do well in their classes, to make it to the honor roll. And yes, at the same time, they're encouraged to make it to the honor roll in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We could not go wrong. We really couldn't go wrong in that. Uh, we had all the elements there. Um, and I think it was the investment. Uh, he kept saying, this is an investment in your students, an investment in your children, an investment in your future. And how can you go wrong with this? In the sense that this was the investment that will carry them throughout their life. But I just knew that I wanted to be in an environment. I wanted to have others that could remind me of you know, my goals, whether they be academic or Islamic. I wanted to be in an environment where I could pray easily. Um, that I had breaks throughout the day where I could remember Allah SWT, that one of my subjects was learning more about Islam, learning more about the language of the Qur'an, learning more about the Qur'an itself. So Alhamdulillah, my years at Al-Hudda School were my favorite. It's, it's one of the uh, rare institutions uh, in, in, the, in the country, perhaps the world as far as I know, that will give you the elements of a strong foundation, of, of community upbringing, of, of social and moral and ethical norms uh, in line with with the bringing of Islam. Often, our parents being afraid that if they send their child to an Islamic school that they will be behind in a worldly sense. As we can see from our graduates that that certainly is not the case. So for example, Amina is now you know, in law school. You know, and, uh, and you have others that went on to med school or dental school or PhDs. This gives you the fundamental basics of education. An Islamic school will not only make our children successful in this world, but also the hereafter. And so there was always a reason to be able to go to school, right? Not just school from a scholastic perspective, but more of a social perspective. And in Ramadan, and iftars, and, and gatherings. And it continues to this day. You know, we can just make this stronger and better. This is what an Islamic school brings out, a complete human being. But more importantly, you learn the deen, you learn the Islam, you learn the, the setting in terms of what this religion is about. They learn how to persevere, how to have that istiqama to get to their final destination. Being in the HIF school was definitely very challenging and it was very different. Um, but from a very young age, it taught me that I can set a really high goal and I can try meeting it and I will have support while getting there. How to be dedicated to something, how to set a long-term goal, um, even as a young child, because at the time I was like um, nine years old. 
first of all, I did, it taught me don't be afraid to set really high goals. And alhamdulillah, I was always able to um, do that, that as soon as I finished the Quran, I was, what's next? It just makes me like continue on and say, you know, alhamdulillah, even though it was four long years of memorizing the Quran, I was able to continue and I was able to accomplish it. You know, the reason I, I um, decided, or one of the biggest reasons I decided to join HIP school in the first place was because one of my favorite teachers. Um, you know, I just remember how, you know, how cool he was. Like, you know, I just used to think he was so cool. The first thing is perseverance. Um, and this has helped me later in life, uh, especially in college, for example. You know, he had such a disciplined attitude and, um, you know, that carried on and that um, reflected on me to the point that, um, you know, when I was young, um, my password for my home computer for the longest time was the word discipline. So discipline is, is, is really important and sometimes you don't see that in other schools. You know, and it taught me at that, at that young age how to set a long-term goal and go about um, achieving it. They learn how to persevere. They learn how to go through pages and pages of Qur'an, memorizing them, reviewing them. And when things get challenging, they learn how to stick it through. Not only me, but ask any father who, whose son has memorized Qur'an, that how proud they are, how happy they are to stand behind them and their son is leading. It's, it's, it's a great feeling. But they will come through challenges, they will come through difficulties, but they will persevere with their discipline that they have, that they have learned. You know, what I prefer to call it is a no-brainer, um, simply because of the fact that you have all the elements uh, of an Islamic institution established, a well-regarded established Islamic institution. You also have a, a community that's sort of cohesive, uh, safe, um, they, they incorporate all the elements of a proper upbringing of children. I am, with the help of Allah SWT, I'm very happy the way things are. He is growing up to be, mashallah, a good person, a good son. Uh, he realizes and understands. The, the, the Islamic education, if you don't have the deen, if you don't have the akhlaq, the character, uh, that's nothing would benefit you at the end. How much longer are we going to wait? When are we going to get serious and do something about the future growth of our future generation? So for me personally, I'm, I'm proud to be a parent of, uh, of uh, three girls who graduated from here and subsequently went on to further their education. Um, you know, it's the investment you make early on that makes a difference. That's the best investment they can make in their kids' life. There is no other choice. This is it. Al-Hurra School is a place to be. Grateful to Allah SWT that we made the decision what we made many years ago and we see the fruit of that. When you put your trust in Allah, when you put your trust in Allah, anything is possible. Anything is possible. But that's the challenge. How much trust do we have in Allah? How much do we believe in Allah? Do we have the yaqeen?